Time for the J3C Pigskin Podcast. I'm John. Give me three minutes. I'll give you my three cents. Consider this the audio companion to my weekly college football top 25, which you'll find online at johns3cents.wordpress.com. Well, that was certainly interesting. One Saturday and suddenly college football's landscape looks like a drunken giant kicked a path through the living room scattering Legos everywhere. Let's see if I can avoid stepping on too many of them. Alabama won big. Oregon won big. So far, so good. Nothing to see here. Ohio State was off. We're still good. FSU won, and uh uh-oh. In and of itself, that's not earth-shaking. The number four team in the poll should win. But like that, over the number five team, from there, the carnage just goes into full swing. Six of the next seven teams in my rankings lost, and the seventh escaped with 16 seconds to play. George O'Leary got another 15 seconds of fame when UCF beat Louisville, but does the loss make it more likely or less likely that Charlie Strong is in the NFL next year? What do we make of Clemson after last night? Was that a reality check or just one of those nights? What about LSU? Looked like a reality check. What about Texas A&M? Well, Johnny Football don't play defense. And what about South Carolina? And what happens if Shaw didn't get hurt in the final minute? All this talk about the losers from the weekend, maybe we have to give a little love to the winners. Ole Miss closed the deal, but sure did everything they could think of to screw it up along the way. Auburn got their biggest win since Mr. Moneybags left the loveliest village. Tennessee finally got the signature win the last couple of coaches couldn't seem to find with a bloodhound. Baylor may have proven that there is life after RG3. And Missouri has put a solid shoulder to the door, but in my opinion still hasn't really kicked that door all the way down yet. And then there's my backyard where one friend so aptly described it, even the planes returning from Nashville sound pissed off. Let me be blunt, though. An iffy ejection based on an even iffier rule did not cost Georgia the game against Vanderbilt. That distinction rests with turnovers, special teams play, and a defense that hasn't exactly set the woods on fire no matter who was on the field anyway. Down the road in Atlanta, Georgia Tech put on an option clinic against a team that has never defended the option before and still hasn't defended the option. But it was, at best, a game between two completely irrelevant teams. It's nice and all, but it doesn't really mean a thing. That'll bring us to the J3C Top 25 for the week where the top two teams are unchanged and then all hell breaks loose. Alabama and Oregon are now followed by FSU, Ohio State, and Miami. Missouri takes another huge leap this week from number 15 to number 6. Auburn debuts in the poll at number 12. The biggest drops, LSU and South Carolina, both down 11 spots to 18th and 21st. Georgia, Washington, and Florida fall out of the poll completely. That makes room for Auburn plus Arizona State and Ole Miss at the very bottom. And, of course, you can find the entire Top 25 every week just by hitting the blog at johns3cents.wordpress.com. Looking to the upcoming weekend, we get UCLA at Oregon, Texas Tech at Oklahoma, and South Carolina at Missouri among the Top 25 matchups. There's also the little matter of Tennessee at Alabama as the third Saturday in October once again arrives just a little late. I'm John, and that's my three cents.